Hi friends, today is a different kind of a review and uh, this time I am reviewing a, a kind of a package of a pen and a notebook because uh, this is uh, this is coming as a add-on gift with a pen by a retailer in Delhi. They wanted me to review both of their products. Uh, this is uh, basically a, a novel idea from Pen's Point. Uh, the, uh, the person managing is Mr. Ravi Tiwari. Uh, who is selling a Twisby pen uh, with a, at a discounted price with a free notebook with it. So he wanted me to uh, check out both of them and uh, just uh, let know how I feel about it. So this is a review of uh, Twisby Eco T uh, which is a fountain pen and a fountain pen friendly paper notebook. Twisby uh, company has been uh, manufacturing some very good pens for quite some time and they have been coming out with uh, newer models again and again. Twisby Eco T um, is a model which is a piston filler uh, like few of their series and uh, it uh, uh, it comes in sort of a lower range than their uh, 580 AL or wax filler models but the pen is phenomenal the pen is very good and uh, so are my, so is my opinion about the notebook which they've bundled with it uh, this pen uh, Twisby so first I'll go through this the pen comes in a cardboard uh, sh this outer shell and you have a sort of a uh, cheap looking plastic case which is sturdy though um, it mentions how the parts of the pen when it's taken apart Twisby is known to uh, sell its product uh, as a completely uh, take apart product so for cleaning and all but they do advertise that it should not be done on a regular basis but only to store away and it does contain a booklet which mentions do's and don'ts how to ink and how to um, how to put the feedback and it does come with a wrench and with a silicone grease for greasing the piston so I'll just put this aside and come to the pen this is a, uh, this is a clear acrylic pen body and you can see the ink level within and it does come in multitude of colors red green blue you name it and they have it so um, they have bundled this uh, with matching color of their book this book is uh, basically a 5 size testing paper book and it is being um, marketed by RM Enterprises based out of New Delhi although the retail price is 8.95 but they are selling this free of cost with the pen uh, upfront the pen of the price is retailed at about uh, 4000 uh, Indian rupees but uh, they are uh, discounting this price to about uh, about 33-3400 rupees and with that they have bundled the book as a free gift. So let's check out what this is about. Uh, so again uh, here I've, I've got a matching uh, color of the pen with the book and they do have the same band and the uh, slight uh, sleeve which comes in the same color the side binding also in the same color as you can have with the pen so you can make the choice appropriately um, the pen differs from their uh, other models slightly so this is a twisby 580 al again both are wax fillers where they differ i feel the acrylic in this is slightly lighter than the acrylic in 580 al this is a complete plastic metal body um, plastic body uh, with the uh, silver trims this is ferromagnetic it sticks to some of the magnet in the pen pouch which I have and uh, the trims of uh, this uh, pen eco T are slightly on a lighter side than that of the 580 AL dimension wise you would place almost similarly and uh, other thing is the cross section so this is a triangular cross section of the pen the barrel but the body is round and also it has three facets on the writing section you have one two facets here and one facet here which acts as a kind of a grip guide so the pen has a finial this is a plastic uh, just a plastic emblem uh, on the top of twisby logo and then you have a clip which is good functional clip it has a it has a big slit in between and you have twisby eco t Taiwan written on the bottom you have a good design which comes down to a circular uh, band and then this has a circular uh, barrel threads also obviously it has to be circular um, and the grip section has these three facets which aid in holding the pen my grip is slightly on the girthier side I did like this grip the 
this is slightly like a Lamy Safari and it uh, does feel good. So this pen has been touted to be both for uh, beginners as well as experts. That is what they plan to sell it as. It, this is a medium nib so you would see a Frisbee logo here slight engraving like in a Yugo nib and I think you can make out the nib width mentioned here there is a slight uh, step down here so it makes cleaning the ink after you've inked the pen a bit difficult you have to squeeze in the tissue in uh, the paper inside to wipe it and you have this barrel the ink is uh, the volume of the ink is pretty good in this and the, this piston movement is good but it does have a bit of a play in it so while you see this is a there's a bit of a play in it before it really starts moving uh, the pen uh, locks in with just about uh, less than two threads less than two turns and this is a post-it pen Okay, I never post my pens, I don't like, but this is, this can be posted pretty securely and this is what aids in posting, it does fit into this thread pretty well, but don't try to turn this while you have posted it, it will make the piston move and the ink will burp out of that. The pen is uh, pretty lightweight, it's a good built acrylic pen, uh, holds a good amount of ink. And I really like the way it wrote. So let's come down to the business proper for which it has been sent to me. I have inked this pen with Colorverse Supernova which is a deep turquoise kind of a shade So with this you can make out that the pen does write a very smooth, uh, a very uh, wet line. It has a little hint of feedback with it. So if I have to rate the feedback with the pen, I would say that uh, it is somewhere around here. Not scratchy at all. The nib hasn't been tuned at all out of the box. It's writing pretty well and I don't intend to even fiddle with the nib because uh, I'm really liking the feedback with it. Let me also mention that I was not very happy with the way my Twisby 580L wrote out of the box so I had to really play around a lot with the nib and even the end result was not as gratifying as how this pen wrote straight out. And uh, the wetness is pretty good as you can make out from the lines. It does write a pretty well saturated line. This is a steel nib so you can expect it not to have a bit of bounce or a bit of softness with it. It's a firm nib and you can, those who like to really push the nib into the paper while writing, you would I think like the way how this writes. Steel nib doesn't flex a lot. Reverse writing. Very extra fine kind of a line with a bit of scratch to that. Okay, uh, the pen overall is a good package. You're getting it at almost a 20% discount uh, on the retail price and the icing on the cake, the testing book. Um, I have not reviewed a lot of papers. This is probably the first one which I'm doing. The reason being that being a person who writes professionally and not for leisure purpose, 
um, I generally don't have the luxury of having the paper of my choice to write. So I take up a simple A4 size 80 GSM paper to write. This one is a fountain pen friendly paper. This is 120 GSM and it is it has 5 by 5 mm dots. The outer build quality is good. It has a good thick um, binding and it has an elastic band along. This slight sleeve which can uh, hold your pen is not very well suited for a fountain pen but you can slide a pencil or even a, um, a ballpoint pen which has a tapering uh, tip pretty easily into this. I don't know how many of fountain pen enthusiasts would actually go for that. Okay, what the surprise was all about was the way this uh, uh, this paper behaved with almost every ink which I uh, which I wrote over it. Um, on this side, you can see that I tried few of these inks um, of different brands, and almost all of them had a very good shading effect with this. So uh, I tried uh, Emerald, Krishna ink with different types of drying times. And almost every ink had the clear uh, their characteristic quality of shading very well very well laid down on this paper and there the quality of sheen also on this this is a monster sheening ink I don't know yeah probably in some angle you'll be able to make out that uh, the f the four five things which are pretty important for a fountain pen friendly paper of laying a line which is not feathering without any show through or bleed through Here you can see that even with the even with the uh, music nib there has been no bleed through or show through on the back and with the vekhari this is architect grind and even with this with the saturated line there has been almost no show through or bleed through with this so excellent quality paper and um, you get uh, um, you get no feathering on that what is also important is that it sort of matches the drying time of the ink um, on this with that on a 80 gsm so the drying time is i would say it's slightly lesser on this because color was in twisby eco we had a drying time of about 25 seconds 20 to 25 seconds on a 80 gsm photocopy paper while it was roughly about 20 seconds on this so it has a pretty decent drying time and uh, the ink uh, it doesn't feather it doesn't bleed through and the ink shades very well the only thing which i find different in this paper was that it has a bit of uh, slightly rough character with it so while you're writing you would get that hint of feedback even with smooth nibs um, which, which is uh, not at all really, very bothersome for that. So this was my first experience, true experience with a, with a fountain pen friendly testing notebook and I'm really surprised with the kind of, sur pleasantly surprised with the kind of paper that they have come up with. Overall the binding quality is good and I can see that uh, it will probably hold its seam even when you are through with the whole of the paper sheets. So uh, to conclude, uh, uh, this was a very good bundle package and so this was a very likable book quality and how to go about it? Well, Mr. Ravi Tiwari, who is the owner of Pens Point, Thanks a lot for sending me this particular package. I really love both of these things which you have, which you have uh, made up. And uh, this person can be reached at his mobile number. Obviously, you have to put an India code, but I, I don't think this sh this would ship out of India. He's based based out of Delhi in South Extension. New Delhi. So, I hope you like this video and I hope you like this particular product.